Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to SVTV One. I am your host, Khadija Hassan Tijan Nabi. Today we do have the Honorable Alhaji Kande Kole Yonkala in our studio. Um, approximately about a month and a half ago, um, right around July 22nd, we will get time for an exclusive interview. Today again, we will get another nice, beautiful interview we I believe say everybody will benefit from and that please help us share far and wide. But before that, when it come right back, we want also share some news and updates as we don't promise regarding Mr. Mohammed Kamarimba Mansari. Uh, and then when it come right back with the Honorable uh, MP. Thank you so much. Welcome once again, SPT One, Khadija Hassan Tijan. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Today is September 10, 2021. As we promise to keep you all posted or updated on any um, latest news having to do with the leader and founder of the ADP political party, Mr. Mohamed Kamarimba Mansare. On August 7, 2021, our platform sent out both an audio publication as well as a written publication on our Facebook wall to announce that the leader and founder of the ADP political party was granted bail. Upon that, there were a series of requests or demand and collateral from that the family. All collateral and demands were met as per requested as per request from the Sierra Leone court. However, up to this day, September 10, 2021, Mr. Mohamed Kamarimba Mansare is yet to be granted bail despite the mandate from the Sierra Leone judiciary. It is alleged that Judge Ellen Thomas A. refused to approve Mr. Mohamed Kamarimba Mansare's bail and that of his co accused. This unfortunate decision and behavior of the judge has left Sierra Leoneans with countless doubts and grave concerns regarding the health and safety of Mr. Mohamed Kamarimba Mansare. We will continue to keep close contact with immediate family members of Mr. Mohamed Kamarimba Mansare and periodically we will keep the general public posted. This message is once again brought to you by SVTV1 news anchor Khadija Hassan Tijan Nabi. On behalf of the CEO and myself and the entire team, we say thank you for being part of this platform. God bless. SVTV1, welcome Honorable Alhaji Dr. Kande Kole Yomkela. Honorable Alhaji Dr. Kande Kole Yomkela, commonly referred to as KKY was born on July 5th, 1959, in Kichom, Cambia District. Honorable Dr. Kande Kole has diverse international experience working in the United Nations, where he served in various capacities. Prominent amongst them was hired his role as Director General of the United Nations International Development Organization, acronym UNIDO. He also served as the Under Secretary of State and the United Nations Secretary General Special Representative on Sustainable Energy for All and has made valuable contribution in respect of promoting economic development initiative globally. Honorable Dr. Alhaji Kande Kole Yomkele is a certified Doctor of Philosophy in Agricultural Econ Economics. He has served as a development expert for the three decades, many years, and has contributed significantly to the growth of underdeveloped countries. He is the leader of the National Grand Coalition Party, abbreviation NGC, a party that he founded immediately after he left the Syrian People's Party. He contested both the presidential and parliamentary election of March 2018. He was unsuccessful with the presidential bid but comfortably won the parliamentary seat in the constituency 062 in Cambia district. He was therefore duly elected as a member of parliament in this constituency. 
He is committed to bring his wealth of experience to the House of Parliament and ensure he meaningfully contributes to the legislative business and ensures parliamentary efficiency. He was appointed chairman for the Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation Committee between 2018 and 2019. He is currently the chairman of the Agricultural Committee and also a member of two other committees, Appointment and Public Service and Energy Committees. Honorable Alhaji Dr. Kande Kole Yomkele has identified the following constituency needs improvement in education, proper health care, delivery, and enhanced agricultural productivity, good feeder roads, river transport, and sustainable livelihood, especially for the women. He is committed to ensuring engagement is done with development partners to initiate remedial actions. Educational background, Alhaji Dr. Kande attended the Christ the King College, abbreviation CKC, secondary school in Bo. He has a BSc from Injala University, a MSc from the Cornell University, and a PhD in Agricultural Economic from the University of Illinois. Family background, his father, the late Paramount Chief, Alhaji Bai Shabur Yomkela II, was the ethnic Susu, and a founded member of the Saharan People's Party, abbreviation SLPP. His mother, Haja Bintu Yomkela, is an ethnic fuller from Tambaka Chiefdom, Bombali District in Northern Provinces in Sierra Leone. His mother, Haja Bintu Yomkela, is also the daughter of a paramount chief, Kande Kole, the first paramount chief of Tambaka Chiefdom in Bombali District. Alhaji Kande was born to a very religious Muslim parent in Cambia district and a devout Muslim himself. Work experience Alhaji Dr. Kande Kole Yomkele presently serves as a duly elected member of parliament for constituency 062 in Cambia district. Other work experience. In December of 2005, Dr. Kande Yomkele was appointed Director General of the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, abbreviation UNIDO, having previous work in various high-level policy positions in UNIDO, he was reappointed for a second four years term in the office in December of 2009. Prior to working for UNIDO, Dr. Alhaji Yomkala was the Minister of Trade and Industry for Sierra Leone from 1994 to 1995. From 1987 through 1996, he held various academic positions at Michigan State University and the University of Illinois in the United States. In recognition of his leadership and his passion for energy and environment related cause, Alhaji Yomkela was appointed as chair of United Nations Energy in 2008 by the United Nations Secretary General. Qualities of Alhaji Dr. Yomkela is a prominent public speaker who addresses global issues including poverty, reduction, climate change, the Millennium Development Goals and Green Industry and Renewable Energy, Dr. Alhaji Yomkela opinion pieces have appeared in major international newspapers, including the New York Times, the International Herald, Herald Tribune, The Guardian. He has also appeared on several international broadcast networks, including CNN's, Amanpour program, BBC, Sky News, Al Jazeera, and CNBC. We cannot conclude this piece without making mention of his beautiful wife, the wonderful Mrs. Philomena Yomkela. Awards and honor, honorary doctorate, University of Ghana, honorary doctorate, University of Madras, India, 2008 Champion of Youth Award, Fourth World Youth Congress in Quebec City, Canada. International Aluminum Award for Exceptional Achievement, University of Illinois, Auburn Champion, UIUC. The Prex de la Foundation of the Grand Montana Forum. Honorary Distinguished Visiting Professor, Shangli Institution of Foreign Trade.
Lifetime Achievement Award, Green, White, and Blue Commission, Nayodama Award for Outstanding Contribution to the Energy Sector, December 13 of 2014, Commander of National Order of Côte d'Ivoire, 2013 Energy Efficiency Visionary Award for his steadfast commitment to the sustainable, sustainable energy for all initiative and his work to advance the next generation of energy efficiency through the pillars of investment, education, and modernization. 2012 South South and Triangular Cooperation Visionary Award, United Nation of South South Cooperation. 2012 United Nation Association UNA USA Global Leadership Award for the leadership he has provided to strengthen the United Nations. Award of Honorary Professor by the Mongolian University of Science and Technology, April 2012. Wisham Award for Science for his service as a son of Africa, March 30, 2011. Doctor of Science, University Adokete, Nigeria, in recognition of his contribution to global development and poverty alleviation in the world, March 2012. Doctor of Science Award from the Injala University, Injala, Sierra Leone, March 2011. Doctor of Philosophy from Terry University, New Haley, on October 2010. Doctor of Literature at the 150th Year Special Conovation and Valedictory Function, University of Madras, September 2008. Press de la Foundation presented by Prince Albert of Monaco of the Cannes Montana Forum for his global leadership and work in development, June of 2006. With a very brief background of Honorable Al Haji Dr. Kande Kole Yomkele, Yom we take this golden opportunity to extend our sincere gratitude for taking time out of his busy schedule to honor our inv invitation. And we are honored to have him with us here today in our studio. This message is brought to you by SVTV1 news anchor Khadija Hassan Tijan Nabi. On behalf of the CEO and the entire team, we thank you for your time and honoring our invitation. We thank you. Positive vibes, you see me? To the NGC movement, Freetown Sierra Leone. United we stand, we stand united. Listen this. KKY, KKY, KKY. We make we vote y'all. KKY, KKY, KKY. We no vote NGC KKY for positive change. Now we land boo. NGC KKY. For transformation a salon Who no vote NGC KKY For positive change now we land yeah. NGC KKY For transformation a salon Il au one ya We hear we say the lion boss na the tongue NGC KKY Is the way to positive change now we land 
Because the standard of living us alone can make young people they die, 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 die. Health and sanitation, environmental protection, land and housing. Unu vote and GCKKY for positive change now we land. Boom! NGCKKY for transformation as alone yo. Unu vote and GCKKY for positive change now we land. Yeah. NGCKKY for transformation as alone. Also, the red and green box up we land. Long time since the days of independence. Tell now, people, you know, open them still they fall on the flow. Tribal. Well, they watch AYV right now. Um, as you see, the parliamentary them, they all tidy wear them t shirts. Um, they put McKinney Life Matter, you know, um, uh, because, um, there is a, um, a room on the go on, say, where you print a polo, where you wear them, then they hold you, then go arrest you. Why them for arrest? Um, as we all see, um, really, where Cheiko Queen said they get your own voice inside, right inside parliament. Long see what's in the happen. Uh, we see the girls, they are going to get some kind of yumkela. Waiting this, uh, this message is to say, this is not political, it is national. Okay. But, I will answer for this, they are very consistent. Yeah, and you see the position consistent. If you look, AYB interview 5th of May, morning coffee 6th of May, and Namina, the only politician. And then we get Zainab, Bien, Honorable Zainab, Bien. And Padembaro. And we've been very consistent, giving the press release with Rupert McKinney, independent, impartial investigation. Second, right to free speech. Thank you to AYV for bringing us this one. I have been consistent talking about excessive use of force. So for me being here, a number of things, freedom of speech. Second, we therefore take a look into this issue of excessive force. I opposed it in 2016-17, I oppose it even now. We therefore find other ways for dealing with riots. Thirdly, maybe you say that this funeral now an opportunity for them to teach people they say, we can protect them when they exercise their right. For example, if their family haven't buried their people, me waiting me go gladly for see. Now for say police, they, they, they protect them, guide them for go bear their people. Now that we don't see in other countries. Me don't they not protest in Europe. And they give me protection who they work. No violence, no nothing. So me, yes, are they in solidarity? Every life matter. And not let too much police brutality anywhere. For say, do yeah, let we do something else. Also, even we will express protest, we can do it peacefully, but we forbid, within the remit of the law, it is our right. Also, the police for talk to them, train them, say there are other ways of dispersing crowds. It's happening too much from 2016 to now, and I think it's getting worse. So, yes, NGC were very consistent. If you check, again, me personally, 5th of May on AYB, 6th of May on Morning Coffee, I was very consistent and I'm here standing in solidarity with my brothers. Yes, Mr. Leader. Um, this is the parliamentary exam. Um, now we see what the AYB they do. AYB, the Insalon Sabi. Protesting, I'm not protesting, we send a message. Okay, the message is Basically, I'm not going to tell you say the ruling party not involved. Because when you've been there this afternoon, you see what it transpire. They're not work out, they're not go. Then in there, where we do what we do, and we conclude. Mm -hmm. Now we don't know about our business. The motion where we pass the parliament, by like unanimous one, we all agree. You know, again, nothing for do with politics. The SLPP, the APC, the NGC, and the C4C, we all vote unanimously for me to speak and set up this committee. We will do an independent inquiry into the incident of McKinney from the House of Parliament. So it's not political. If you are, thank you very much. We'll go bring now back more this view good. on this one. This we want to see how much government they reduce their size, how much they will reduce government deficit. Then thin and they important. Then are important variables and the so-called wage bill as well. We go affect how the rest of the economy they run. So we want to see, as I say, the major litmus test. Is it a bread and butter budget? for constitutionality and we will not support anything that we don't consider constitutional.
We saw this morning a spectacle that has never occurred in this parliament. Troops of policemen forcibly removing 68 members of this parliament, which is about 45, 48% of members. That is unprecedented. It is wrong. We cannot replace APC on constitutionality with junta democracy. It is not possible. So we cannot support any process we consider that removes so many people from parliament. So our abstention is not in objection to the speaker. Our objection is to the process. The constitution is clear. All members should be here. The standing orders are clear. All members should be here. So on principle, we cannot support a process or participate to validate, validate a process that we believe is against the Constitution. We are here elected by people. All right. Now, according to Honorable Sidi Tunis, who nominated um, Dr. Abbas um, Bundu to be elected as Speaker of the House, he said precedence had already been set when the last parliament decided um, to elect a speaker without um, presence two members of the Serbian People's Party who had been duly elected to be members of parliament. Two people out of one, 112. Yes, he did mention the difference there is just the number. It's significant. Two out of 112 is not the same as 68 out of 146. You're talking almost half. When half the parliament is absent, it is wrong. Second, for me, the key principle, this is a sacred house. We cannot have troops of police removing people here in large numbers. It is wrong for the record. I know it will be recorded in the hands of I am here representing people because of democracy. I have been a victim, and let me make it clear. Everybody knows I'm not a friend of APC. They fought me till two days before the election. I am not a sympathizer of APC. Otherwise, I would have walked out with them. No. I am challenging bringing policemen here, forcibly removing members. It is wrong for democracy, and I can never support that. No. So the democracy I don't support. Now, according to the clerk, um, those members who were forcibly removed were in contempt of Parliament because he ha had asked them to resume their seats after they had protested the removal of 16 of their members who had an in injunction slammed against their participation here today. For NGC, we strongly believe in separation of powers. There is a clear distinction. We don't take instructions from the executive, and we don't want the judiciary also trying to obstruct a, a parliamentary process. We are guided by the Constitution. I consulted judges. I consulted lawyers. So for me and the NGC, we stand on principle. We will not endorse any processes that are undemocratic. We are victims of undemocratic pr practices. We cannot. So we stood by what we believe for morality and constitutionality and we acted accordingly because we are here for the people all right now moving forward we have already seen some amount of segregation for the national grand coalition as we have seen several members of parliament here referring to the national grand coalition as etc etc and not mentioning the names so how do you think that would all play out um, given you are needed here you were voted in to represent your people here in parliament we will do what we have to we are not here to be praised we are here to represent our people and to work under the constitution. So I'm not, me personally, I'm not here for people to recognize me. I am here to do the people's work. The people's work means high morality and constitutionality. My father was a member of parliament in 1957 already. So I grew up in a tradition of respecting the rule of law. So any sign, any time, don't forget, I did not yield to even Anes Kuruma or APC with all their shenanigans. I am here through hard work and also believing that yes, rule of law must prevail. So for me, I'm not looking for praise. My colleagues also in the NGC, we're simply here to work. We have said we want to be a constructive opposition. We will work with government. We will also work with the opposition. And when we have differences, we stand alone. That is why we're here. We're not here to curry favor.
All right. So in your opinion or in your judgment, are you saying what happened here today should not have happened? We should not have seen the election of a speaker and a deputy speaker, given that half of the parliament was not present. I believe we should have debated it. I strongly believe we should have debated it. Having a gag rule preventing people debating when almost 50 percent of the parliament is forcibly removed i think is not good for democracy that is my belief and i hope it is recorded that i stood up when others could not do it i stand for morality and constitutionality i am here for a purpose i am elected by my people so i'll always speak what i believe not out of your favor all right thank you very much for joining us here this is ayv television thank you for having me Right, you just heard from the National... Welcome, welcome back once again. And I thank you, thank you, thank you for in our patience. As we last stated, um, as we were stating at the opening, we last met um, July 22nd of this year, approximately almost two months ago, with the Honorable um, Amhaji Kande Kole, Yom Kala, former Minister of Trade and Industry of Sierra Leone between the year of 1994 through 1995, former Director General of United Nations Industrial Development Organization, abbreviation UNIDO, currently a member of parliament. It is an honor once again to have with us in our studio, um, Honorable Alhaji Kande Kole Yonkela. And I thank you once again for your patience. And I please share far and wide is going to be a wonderful discussion. And I believe say, every Sierra Leonean will benefit from this, especially we will find ourselves in the diaspora. And I welcome once again. Without further ado, make your brain calm and we honorable for the coming and introducing. So welcome, welcome once again, sir. Thank you, thank you very much. I have this. Okay, and our patients will be small um, as honorable will be the travel. So make we just let no, it just get settled. You good now? Okay, I just want to change this a little bit so that way you go. Um, let me just read you that. Apologize. Okay, sir, you are welcome to come right in, dive into the conversation. Kindly take the opportunity for introduce yourself, sir. Welcome once again. Thank you for having me. And then, uh, for constituency 062. And the uh, district that you should come. Uh, I'm happy to be back with you. Absolutely. We are pleased to have you back with us. And of course, today, I think so, we'll get a whole lot for celebrate. Um, some will call them your being exonerated. At last, as some will refer to um, the trials or the things that we were accomplished. So before we, before I go into too much, make I just give you that opportunity for they give you the detail where we last talk about certain things that we uh, not a concern of Sierra Leone and especially for we will live in the diaspora. So come in and share with me some of the good news, sir. Come on in. Welcome back. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Every time I say we will get the con a conversation today after we get this landmark Supreme Court judgment uh, over the 3rd of September 2021. We cover two main sets of issues. Number one, there is the issue about the, the petition against me that the Supreme Court said I'm moving for one for Parliament and Presidency back in 2018 because according to the plaintiff, me not to be citizen of Salon. And also that I now renounce me American uh, uh, citizenship. The judge the court in the of five on that issue, no, the man will get enough evidence, say the man long before nomination back in November 2017, to give up in American citizenship, to get all, to get the certificate of renunciation, to get the oath of renunciation, when I process with the people, so we get all of the information. So the first thing is the potential remarks. Then they take a second issue, they say, but apart from that, 
et maintenant et ma fils pour nous et si disait au salut. So for as long as he must see this in the salut, they began right for the family to take him office. And said because we wanted any evidence, he renounced his salut citizenship. We be get by birth. And that is critical later on for the other major thing in the south. And said a citizen by birth. And all of them are necessary because we have the US one of the side, the several way, multi way. So he won't ever give up Saru citizenship. And he can't be a non state person. The international law more they allow for him to be a non state person. So for as long as they will go to the Shalom and Salon, he always won't be a Saru and citizenship. So he will get right for them anyway. So that's what I said before. I was fully exonerated. The second set of issues then decides here well, now we make a pronouncement out on whether somebody will be able to national to run for public office, particularly parliament. Three out of the five judges say yes, as long as that was national union by path. If he gets a dual nationality or that side, they don't disqualify him for them. They are very clear, they decide in judge. When the main judge of justice were marked as the five, in my in summation, because in a 39 page we will record in the 60 coroners how much time it take. On page, on page 36, we put a clear thing at the quota. They say the clear and unambiguous answer to the question posed by counsel for the seventh defendant. Seven defendant and the NGC, NGC council say, we want to make a clarification for me about this citizen, dual citizenship uh, disqualification. So, Ramak says, and I quote, the clear and unambiguous answer to the question posed by council of the seven defendant is that a person does not cease to be a citizen of Syria just because upon attaining the age of 22 years, he has obtained or subsequently obtained the citizenship of another country. We are not very clear. He said, in only if he became a ceremonial, and at, by the age of 22 or after, he will take a dual nationality. That means he will stop for being a citizen. He said, no, that is not the case. Because again, of the 2006 uh, uh, um, Citizenship Act, we make a clear announcement you can be a dual, dual citizen. Then we go on, on page 37, as part of the information. He say, it seems, and I quote him, it seems to me that we could not, because they asked for the a hit content. They say, oh, well, if we lost the parliamentary seat, and here's his response, it seems to me that we could not, meaning not lose his parliamentary seat, so long as he continues to hold Sierra Leone citizenship, though possessed of two of citizenship, he would be qualified in terms of Section 771 g of the 1991 Constitution to be registered as an elector for election of members of parliament. There is no discipline, there is no disability attached to dual nationality for the purpose of being eligible as an elector under the Public Elections Act of 2012. So it takes in turn for explaining, and of course, if you go to Justice Glenn Thompson, Honorable Glenn Thompson, he I fully agree with what he, uh, uh, the presiding judge said, and it even takes more time for the being show the, how the citizenship law they changed from 1973 and why, in fact, Parliament. When they adopt that 2006 Dual Citizenship Act, they clearly say that they are aware. Say before that, of course, you know, elected, but they're, they're not, they're not, they, if they may want to stop by getting it, for good for that, they say, oh, they're not going to be able one for office, they're not doing that. They say so, it's very clear to the parliament, they are aware. Say, in fact, yes, that is allowed. Uh, Justice uh, Echo Roberts agree with the other two colleagues. So, three out of five. Clear say yes, dual national that they run for any office in this country. So that now waiting I read from the, the, the documents. The other two judges, one dissent, 
the other one, in depth and generally just focus on the first set of issues where they be talk. So we very clear three out of two, uh, three out of five, sorry, that um, we have one national that they run for political office, Nasalo. Wonderful, wonderful. Now, um, take the opportunity for send a message or two to all those who were involved in this, the final decision, referring to the judge. What thing you would like for say to them? What I would like for say to them say thank you. We take long, but thank you for their vision and their courage to be that clear judgment, clear interpretation. Because remember, their job now to interpret the law, interpret the constitution. No other side of the way to be past it, but interpretation, and then don't make it clear. And it's a courage because why I say courage and vision. Maybe listen and they look how the demographic of change in the, in the country. They don't see, say yes, for who's a lone man for economic reasons, other reasons, like other countries, then they get to go help, go outside and continue for help and continue. They see how the context of the change. Then said they read the literature and they see what in remittances. There was a time 10 years ago, remittances of over 500 billion dollars around the world. Country then they, like Nigeria now, win a 3 to 5 billion and they get from remittances. Uh, China, over 30 billion. Mexico, over 30 billion. Philippines, they all the high. Pakistan, Bangladesh. In fact, if you go to the Middle East, you will see them Bangladeshi, Pakistani, Filipino, and the 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 country then they organize them properly. But then they put an inside a different percent. So country then gain a ten percent of GDP. Then they come out from remittances. So I think say they don't see that vision. They say we well, low deep clarity, but let confusion not be for anybody. So they interpret and clear. And what's in the key? That Saloman and Saloma man only. Then they you know they make you lost that 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 thing the way God don't do, even if you take other one outside. Wonderful. So I want to tell them, thank you. I also want to tell the lawyers, thank you. Very good lawyers. The solid team will put together. We take them, ten, put the facts, make the case legally, professionally, and, and this can be. So we give God the grace and I tell Boku, well wishers, the party members, the family, and thank you. We then set them with me, the Almighty, set them with the courage for continuing because remember, when something makes you an enter and they are member all the notification, you know, they, they, they lie, lie all kinds of them talk about not a man, all kinds of them. And even two weeks ago, they, they say, oh, the man, they can't come on a parliament, if they can't charge her. When you go through all that, you know, God, with God in grace, you still stay firm, you know who that you be, you just forgive thanks, you know, we support you from the party, from friends, and to other people that know that party. They say, don't go to the people, so you're not correct. In fact, the delay said, justice delayed is justice denied. This decision was supposed to be made one week after the first judgment. But it takes now over three years. Don't you thank God will be patient and will thank again. Then judge the new recipient who will stick to what he will say and what he will And if you look with him and write now, for who pays them, they take 10 votes, with two days then, so that legal scholars in the future will be able to judge. Thank you, sir. Some will refer to you, or including myself, or compare you to that of one of my late mentor, when the late Dr. Matthew Luther King Jr., um, who made countless sacrifices for um, this great nation, the United States of America. Some of the privileges where we enjoy today, I seen the example of segregation, black vote, equality, and the list goes on. How does it feel to be that sacrificial lamb, as some will refer to, when it comes to the to sin saga? Well, you look up and say, I volunteer for him. <laughs> now he puts the name forward. Then indeed, the Almighty, if they don't plan on his destiny, say, so I will therefore suffer to so let other people that benefit and let me they look with the legal team and others. At least, minimum, a quarter million now. But if you look the generations after, they will get for benefits from this. So yes, we thank God. See, if there is any legacy apart from the many things that we man don't try to do this six years in this country. But if there is one clear one, say yes, we kill her fraternally. For the other three, four hundred thousand citizens that over time enjoy that privilege, say yes, 
the cancer the country seven honestly and people will be and they hope to will be a lesson to other people but yeah so it's a very big effort so far and it's so far for everyone and if they get honorable they make a feel good today today i say well because when when what is when, when, when cancer will so open that space there for others that by the way for where you read that now you say hey, they might not be even need for for you to be a well what we say will sacrifice a big sacrifice in my mouth which is now and they mean for you and they are the people that they took and put them in the world country for each and every country. And I thank the Americans. The Americans, they do a lot for me. They train me as one of the best of the best institutions in the field. You know, we do Cornell at uh, the University of Illinois, Urbana, Champaign, and Michigan State. When it comes to agricultural economics, those institutions still today are among the top five. In some aspects of agriculture and even engineering, they are among the top three. So I'm grateful to the Almighty for what they did for me, the experiences, the job, the working experience, the solid education, and of course, the, uh, that's part of what I try to do here. The, for, because they make you believe, the other say, you can do anything for perform, and for believe. And they look at the amount of innovation where they come out of that country. They lead the world in many areas, and they welcome people. So if man can try my ass to do the same, and I'm grateful to the American for everything I can do. For, for, for that shaped me, moved me from age 20 something, to at this point where I able to achieve so much. And we'll come back for that country. Thank you. When you talk about the word suffer, I get um, three daily or more um, daily affirmation where I can say to myself, and I think some of which we shared the last time when we, when we sit down together, where I still want to present them to you as a gift as we all go through life and then I also want to ask you question followed. One of which is in a UCL UCL for every hardship comes ease. In a in a Allah Yes. Wonderful. And then the other one in a ma sabirin surely allies with those um that are patient. And then as Bun Allah wa Nima Wakim sufficient for us is Allah when you look at them, you listen to those three daily affirmation on the Islamic perspective, and you co connect them to your day-to-day -day activity. How how do you apply that, or how beneficial has those um, quotes in the Quran has been for you a blessing? The first one very important. I use a lot, and from really still be. Now I don't use more than the daily prayer than anyone. Yeah? Because when you know what it is say, say it don't lift you up in the eyes of everyone for a lot of people. Then they say, have we not removed from you that which way which way down, which weighed you down? Yeah? So when you look this after three and a half years, after they try to disqualify you completely, and then they for disqualifying you now again. I don't do that with them again. But surely, with them to get to come to the SBA, that side will be it. They apply to me. But then he said, we call that the number. Come to the door. They are in worship. And so, yes, that influenced me a lot. Before and even now, and indeed after this week, now I say, yes, this sura applies. In everything where I do, this sura applies. Because I know what I went to. And I know the inconvenience now. Okay, these are now, you always, you know, you know, I get Padilla, we can provoke me, and I say Padilla, I get for Tibano. And indeed, now I have to get for speed. They get for apply, they get for wait. They play God with them, with you. With that book, they go any sign of the world. They find all the entire thing, you know, in these are all over 100 countries. You imagine the pain now. See how I know this over two decades. But also remember, all that service where I do, for 32 years, I repeat that. So anyway, Indeed, in a in a malice we use it. But the other one where I feel like uh, we have to be praise God. But I mean much not the other me. As I tell you, I lost election two days later, I didn't have to, I didn't have to the job. I said God no matter. One thing also that Natino would be saying on the day of Arafa, would be one of the the uh, uh, supplications. Now I said very powerful. Now, of it worship. Now, in no way, not equal. Yeah? When you believe that thing and day, you don't say yes. 
un étudiant qui pense à cette bonne de l'eau qui veut construire des soirées de l'eau. Il dit que nous sommes sortis des gens qui nous ont pris pour les travaux. Donc, il nous a pris pour les plus sur le 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 beautiful and powerful so before we go into the detail one thing you detail as to waiting that mean for the diaspora and then the one that we don't struggle with this to seem especially with this 2018 presidential election even though you might be one of them but there have been many countless um we don't struggle we don't we suffer with that um to see yeah. saga also could it possibly be that you were able also for reverse and get the opportunity for become a United States citizen back again if you decide or you have to apply all over again. Come on in. Renunciation very tough. When you renounce citizenship, you know they will get. When you renounce citizenship, you know they will get citizenship. Uh, also, for the one we go through the same saga. And all that's going on in Canada, we tell you, let's show us how it is. When you look at another one in a six months, that they want you to say, you know. So do that. If you want to run a salon, you want to make a punch, you need to plan one thing, you need to organize yourself, you need to get that. You need to get that money, you need to connect back with your communities, but lots of them are there, you need to know your communities. And no, that can have the new structure around them. Meeting diaspora and in a poor communities. Apart from that, when I read it, and it's not something they want to go like this concept. They want to buy that. They want to buy that. They want to see the crash. So I know when I make the estimates, when I make the paper, they always send. They say roughly two to three hundred million. That's a conservative official one. Not to buy one week. They say two hundred million. They say ten five thousand to cash. But they say half that one. They say two and a half billion will be put inside. But we devote to all this good development. And then a billion billion will be in Cambodia. Anybody who wants to work in the city will be prepared. And it belongs to political parties. We can become engaged. We can prepared. It's good for some Because in fact, the ideas they know, when they will be better, when they will challenge, when they challenge uh, uh, people and society, they put them at the comfort zone. But if some man don't know no good thing, I don't know what they need either. So that competition, they shake me out of the comfort zone and they say there are better ways of doing things. It can't be good, it can't be better. But we put in the board and say we don't go overseas. Because nobody will in this country. Like nobody knows it. We don't need to do anything on the in time to go out now for the same color that for it. Nobody knows it. Show me the one person with the person yeah, it is that you go America, we don't get it. So for me, I did big sacrifice. But also in the other collective business, they want people to go and they don't try and they send money, they don't forget. So why do they forget who they want to be wrong? So they say, anybody don't put their incense. Try your job now, can you? And they get it. Don't be in the salon. Do what you want. And you invest. If you want to know how, go to the business. Let them show them some commitments. Shop it not. Finance by the hospital. Go to the Cambodia. There is a place called CMB. I don't do content at this side of it. Remember how Cambodia is bad. They are working over 1 million or 20 people. Go on a CN week. Let me see the hotel the way that I saw that day. It is one of the biggest hotel that the tourist resorts in the country. Don't go there. Don't go conference here. Within 10 years, after the war, within the diaspora, if you don't believe, go on a place that they can get out of the next year. Let me go show you. Within the diaspora, I'm going to go to China, Mexico, and get a deputy foreign minister we only talk to manage the diaspora to my area. Yes, to manage. I don't need in the days my UN, I don't need one of them to work with me before my climate change and energy and move on to the other people. That's the object of the only thing I do now is to seek the welfare of our Mexicans in America. You see that that's important. Philippines and the same way Philippines, President go to buy. In the fall, all the Tell that we sit down with them. He said we are going to continue. But we are going to continue at the same time. And they about then tell them they have about 10% of the GDP in those days. 10, 15 million. Over to you.
Thank you, sir. Thank you. So, for now, re echo again. If someone they come up from the diaspora now, they don't get much for worry again in terms of the two sim, nothing that will prevent them from aspiring for any office in the Republic so long they were a Sierra Leone was their home of origin, correct? Once they are Sierra Leone citizen by attached to the understanding, and after this, they have a check, they have a check with judges that they don't attend by the CS. But from the time they move to the site, they have to go to the site of the CS. Then at that section 761A, we will be able to go to the US for full inside. And for full inside the constitution, when a simple amendment, and I make a report, say this government, or then set up to see a uh, uh, deal with in the same environment. Simple thing for God, if we really feel we uh, want to come this is and we promise it. We'll begin session back on the 30th of September. Within one week, the God quick session now and then pull out 76 one day. So nobody can see any gray area for their contamination. No great area, but they free to be a very explicit presidency. Once you are a Sierra Leonean, you never cease to be a Sierra Leonean if you acquire the foreign nationality. And if you are still a Sierra Leonean citizen, you can run for office, any office. It's very clear. Wonderful. Let me talk about transitional acts. I don't know if there's any improvement in that department or you're working to, in a still they work towards that. Um, we, I believe, say, um, many Sierra Leone believe, say, um, it will ensure transfer of power and prevent max, max, max in, in terms of sacking Sierra Leone because of affiliation or because of, you know, conflict of interest or because of um, tribalism and the list goes on. Is there any update in that area when it comes to well, that? As, as I've been telling you, so that we get a progressive attempt to see that they want them. I know that one of the first women for 31st seats in the elected, elected position, especially in Paris. Yes. The third one has been to allow young people then to resign six months before election, not 12 months. The other issue that we are care about strongly, we again are one first for the remaining time, where the language is the a very good government transition act. Where exactly we know when the election will be. A very predictable all man who say if they resign, you know exactly. Also, nobody know they had one more week or one more month. No, they can no more December 4 and December 4. When I said the same thing, on an election date, they all fix. They make a picture. Also, that transition act. Let people knock out in Saksa. Also, uh, forget tribal limits. Let no one try to occupy more than 30% of position in the ministry. So, for the do ethnic audits. So, the good news is, when uh, we just came yesterday and today, we don't interview the candidates, the commission, the, the candidates then for the commissioners for the peace commission. When the whole issue of ethnic audits came, and the acts, and some of you will gain and privilege will make sure we write that side very well. Uh, but what is important for back then, and after all, get a law where they say no, no tribe no for pass, that's the same. So, we will work on that one day. I hope that we get support from other people. We push call that way, I've already tell the Minister of Gender, say I will support in gender bill, because he already knew that. So that day, my mother, I'm going to go. In a month or two, for past time, he said, we'll add all that in there. For help women. Uh, then the other one, yeah, of course, I will look for people that really help me now, lawyers, legal scholars who will help me write, then all that deal, yeah. So then they could be only or they could just be one by one. So the system and a whole progressive agenda. We will pray, say, we will judge we one day and we say, yes, the man, he tried. You know, we get a few people in the parliament on the AMT, or to call the great enlightenment. Uh, if me not able to do some of it, and I don't make an advocate for that, I teach for that. If me not able, because now we don't get enough time, you know, all the hassle where they go to the parliament. But people that do say, Dr. Sayyid Keller, they don't say, it's possible, who they do That is the whole idea of advocating and letting people know that all of these are pillars of democracy. All of these help create inclusiveness and also guarantee that we have a better functioning democracy. Wonderful. Let me talk about, um, again, you already touched that a little bit, women's rights, and I also want to expand a little bit on Girls' Protection Act. 
um, and I don't bring that again to the table, how can we best protect them girls there, not by really document, but also how we will strengthen law enforcement for see that we girl, especially with girls' child, them safe and sound from so many things then we don't get so many complaints to the point where the sitting president um, find a way in a situation where he declare rape of, I'm sorry, state of emergency when it comes to rape. So is there anything where you do work on alongside with other parliamentarians then we go strengthen that department in terms of the safety um, in Sierra Leone? Well, um, in as far as the girl child in particular concerned, and we get all of it to Bakadam, was so a major pillar of Bakadam administration, um, we in the pushed that agenda the protection of the girl child. So a lot had been done over that time, continued by the, the, the subsidiary uh, administration. We see we own group now in parliament and the current government don't have an event, sexual violence, and we will pass it with some stiff penalties particularly for sexual penetration and other violence at the field. The side where the work movement is no time to change the mindset of the culture. When people don't use say small begin to marry that or team, they have to change their head So outside of the economic reason, family is there poor, I better send this wire one time, then once you don't come on a society there, they man take an one time after the head. I don't see the problem again at India. There was a time I visit India, where I go now some of the rural areas, like Jamshapur, where the problem bad there, they, they actually take me to a wedding. So we see them two small Pekina have all the head, 17, and I don't forget the woman has 17, the Pekina, I don't know if it's not 15, but that's when they put their head and they say, when I say, how this will come out, but I said, it's not the Pekin. I said, in the Pekin, it's a teenager. And of course, I begin to understand the problems now of ectopic, Pregnancy and others. When they kill them, they kill them. That age, that age is them for the more ready for, for pregnancy. But again, the violence against women. So there is a lot that has been done in terms of legislation. More can be done. But what we need to do, especially in Monday, now forget mind for go back to the community you, you uh, uh, tell them to do. No people want to marry before the team. No. And then for continuing our school, for preach water and for talk water. We're going to dip my red village and extend the money. And I saw now that developing countries live in the villages, as I say, for poverty reasons, for other reasons, which they're not in the house. So, my sister, we get a lot for doing now with all kinds of advocacy, educating the, the, the ordinary man. But it's not a long time to change that mindset. And you will see some of the red things still be the happen. Something is wrong. The law is very draconian. Tough luck to be gone. But when people they were waiting shortly now in the last year and a half, I wrote the year of January, I said, What is it? And they go back to my salon, and who says on Saturday, and then I reach out to the year. I said, They go, and yes, they go it here, they go it here. Why? Is it cultural? Is it ceremonial? Ceremony? I don't know what the belief system is. So, not to learn, it requires community engagement. And stronger to this clear leadership for giving and I want to put my home away from the other say that woman is now we demand a societal issue. So a lot to do my sister. Me well, yes. uh, um, mm -hmm. I, I of course are very close to the female purpose of parliament. The number of women in the whole thing for she will help them on some of them topic there with them a different and first for but they're not plenty at the 18. You see why I want more woman there inside parliament at the 18 and they try. But imagine. It will be there that has 35, having 30%. Ah, that's a strong voice of it. And so, we will now really that all I said, can't join them. We will wear it all because, yes, we get cultural barriers to do this episode. We didn't even get it to do So, we have to do a lot of work, but then we can't even have to say some of them. When I go and come in, and it's when I come in, and I boost that number, and I get the way we call it, and I get the way we call it, and I get the way we call it, and I get So, yes, we hope that uh, one day can be here. Yes. Now that we uh, want to seem all right, I think Canada we said that one for parliament. Then we say join the campaign. <laughs> for women's rights and children. Thank you.
you so much. Great, great compliment. Thank you. I'm humble. Um, but you know, when, when I didn't look at the politics back home, it didn't make us scared every day. And I just want to stay in this field because um, so many things we have one go back to later. You mentioned the late Hamad, the Al Haji Ahmad Tijan Kaba, and you also mentioned the word mindset. And I wonder with Linka or two, also the then president, Dr. Tynes Baikoma, where they talk about attitudi attitudinal change, where he believes, say, we as Saradinian also, if we take responsibility with mindsets, just like how you mentioned. And similarly, which if the former first lady, where he happened to be a wife, um, also been a frown against this was something she, she, she would he worked tirelessly uh, when it comes to early marriage, what he frowned against. So, do you believe that, we, like how we can say government is continuity, do, like how you did also say that um, there's more education needed in that area? Can we also get involved, the paramount chief them, for also educate them, or maybe get the council or them also for go from one area to another if the parliamentarians are not able, because in as I get in, I don't think so that they do. How are we go able for stop this vicious cycle or make this change? As you mentioned, the um, President Kaba, and then of course, President. Um, um, Dr. Ines Baikoma, I said, on doing your own. So, how we will continue this with this administration and future administration? Come on, in, sir. And the, the, the continuous process, like you correctly say, we need all the stakeholders, government chief stakeholders, in any kingdom, and then the chairman of, this, of the women's society. They're all for involved in and also education. The focus then at school. Mm -hmm. Learn more women than they are school. We need some of them. They are role models. We are aggressive here. We can talk to them. Uh, for let them understand why this is necessary. And then she say, hey, that can go far. We can help you. We can help you. So uh, we need everyone. And, yes. and this attitude will change in general in a long process. We need to do all of the literature that I have at the university and there are key institutions and business schools in America, which we call uh, organization and change. The UN program uh, uh, have a uh, help for leading, uh, um, leading corporate and organizational renewal. And uh, they use them on the organization for change management, or for change an institution, turn them around. They simply apply to sectors. For a number of universities, a business school, they get up to And we tell you, see, the most difficult part and culture of the organization. Yes, you will change structures, organic plan, you will hire people, you will change the administrative systems, accountability systems, you will computerize all of that. You have to do it. But in addition, you have to change the mindset. And the mindset changes over time, which means you set the values of the organization or country. So that one thing we all get involved in a continuous process mm -hmm. very correct. Every administration of the community. Because you take over as, as, as head of state or leader in this country. Now you didn't realize it's the mind the way people get. You can see some TV in our social media now. I'm telling you it is real. And they describe some people the way they experience with a very established people. Somebody post one last week of your experience in a salon. Where it, where it just can one that was set up is hell way to And it was all in people's mindset. They don't come with money for each we own. They hire them. They give a job. They didn't have a job. They say they're secure. So it didn't have them for candidates and they write. They didn't have a job. Then they plan already out of this people. They went in and pass it. These are people that will be unemployed. So as long as that they are always So the so of those mentalities in this society, another one. If they praise you, they are off. They complain to the world for you. Then they bring the crap, they destroy you. Oh, let them come to us and come back to the new 50 version. That's what we want to do. So there's so much work to get from everybody in this country. The final one that we talk through. This country, okay? Eh? My dear sister, we were done getting them before, but 
but so that in the Messiah you don't hear you. In the in the rap you is not seen alive. And if you in what? Let the broken he do the opposite of what he tell to God without remorse. And they know it. They know they apologize. And you meet a man, he said, Why you? That's what they mean, not in the man if they consider. But you are with the after you that after maybe six months he can back he make people there for that baby. And I've seen people that do do that so often here. Yeah. And it's just so what is wrong with you. Anyway, so there is a lot more that is Great one, sir. Great, great one. Do you believe that um, we for also incorporate these values uh, or which we want to instill in them young the kind and they um, in classroom if we're not able like like a subject that we get maybe home economy? Do you believe that maybe we can put that into consideration? We also we really teach them say okay, 1950 or 19 no no say 1920. That's so we we people them we they do in terms of early marriage. But now we they try for teaching a how and for what are you talk on that in terms of taking it to the classroom? I fully agree. I feel recently, this government said they are now civic education. They are all learning. We get to teach values from really small. And then therefore continue to teach them values and then I host the kids would listen, but then they come home and see people just in a new normal and see them for like you, them for see them for teeth. And when they teeth now the society now then they give the front table, every side where they go now most my church and even the society because in time you know say but this now just bring a flat. I do the kind of the community they spray money so all my acceptance say, hey, I don't do it. So my dear sister, yeah, you have to start teaching values when you're small. And as young, like three, four, you begin to invite that for hard work matters. But honor, honor that. You give the word and speak by it. And if you're fighting for something, it's for a higher ideal, not so for yourself no more. Yes, fight for society. Salon force. Salon force. Community force. Family, the, 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 the society force. That you belong to that ecosystem they Yes, we will start having a dear sister. Well, as you know, we will get an agreement when the head of the list after that. Yes, we we'll go shortly. <laughs> I just want to ask you two last questions. Um, I know so you get major concern in terms of people now believing in their own lies. And the question come in now, we don't lose we value. There, is there any integrity when it comes to referring to someone as a Sierra Leonean or from the experience we don't get? We don't lose the culture. What that you take in that area, or what you, mm. you believe said it caused that? My, my dear sister, we don't have a, a lot of good values. At least when we really see in the fifties and sixties, and was for good. Um, but I will say we will not forgive up. We don't see countries that said we made the peace. I don't go for Cambodia. Ghana was another. We don't go for Rwanda was another. So what we don't see also is a country to go down to call the possible police that over and for we in that particular people. Then we don't see all the like that and all the tick my hand. We still stay front and no, we continue for being set. Now with the hope says some people who say, and hey, well, possible we put in that gravity. So that more of you need to can and demonstrate that possibility to, be, to create a better society, a society where just a society where inclusive, a society where they care for the people, where people can care for each other, they don't just stay for sale. If he gets past me, I will put a gun. If he gets past me, I will be given for him. And you know, uh, um, so I, I get home, I guess, it's a, being, a, being, a, being an eternal optimist. And I always think we say we all to do the best. So that way, they don't have to say, well, I try. And you don't want to say, oh, you know, you're going to do it. And so we know they have to do that. Yes. When you tell me, you know, you know, you know, you know, hey, I don't do me own. I don't. People don't see enough. Okay. And, and let us know that man said, try. Mm -hmm. And that's what we say. That people will see the confusion when they be around me. And I think they say, hmm. Nobody that stays there where you can see the baby stewardship to tell you, whoever, nobody, 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 there's a good legacy. So tell them they don't recognize the legacy in it, but they will recognize them later. Yeah. I hope they will understand 
the institution, the way Pakaba built. Pakaba knew it to forgive. That was another quite system to be for forgive. And that didn't end up. So within a, a point in the history now, we forgiveness now. So before you conclude that here, yeah, I want to ask you very yes, sir. Yeah, before you talk about uh, I will uh, make you um, expand on that too before you say goodbye. If God bless you to becoming the next president of the republic, two questions there were not two in one question. One, how do we end this vicious cycle as in the example of political prisoner, which you would do in that area? And secondly, seventy percent of the population um, fall under the youth. What thing you would do for empowered youth? or help them for that they refrain from the narcotic and the list goes, the idleness and the list goes, and then make them be productive citizen to that nation. Well, a, a lot of people, but yes, yeah, recently one, one very progressive religious man in this country, where I happen for more just very recently, when uh, uh, we ask him for a new view, they he list three problems, three problems really cause most of the problems that uh, really create more difficulty and crisis by the country. It puts corruption number one, and new within a development field, and also corruption number one. We're going to end the need to popularity. To popularity. The corruption and the fear of popularity, and I'm going to put in the chief man in the news for also hold on to things. And the nine in the use of confused people. Because at the nine in the use of great transparency, because we don't, you know, they can't catch you, you they go against transparency, they do everything. They destroy the system, the legal system, the legal framework, your values. But you want other people in the say that you do the way you do an incorrect. And the system overnight, you become, you don't go catch and put them on it. Now they make, uh, 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 you won't leave, you invest for power, you hold up. You make sure you have it here. prisoners, how would you prevent uh, yeah. yeah, and then also I think one of you found the call Forsake at least 
you to forgive and embrace and bring people together. Let people see, say, yes, we still care for each other, but the way the vicious that is going to happen. And I tell you, cut across society. Young man, old people, young girl, mommy, dead. You don't make some people back to other person. You see what I'm saying? Please, hello. So, so we get one. So, my dear sister, yes, uh, political prisoners, uh, we get home. And you've been no say hey, about two years ago, you no more get mine. The speech where I do one per day. I said, I appeal to the president. I allow people to be on bail for them to defend themselves. Yeah? Um, so, I, I talked to Nadi. I talked to Nadi. He used the phrase political prison. He said it all. He will be treated humanely based on international convention. Nadi, one way, it is written and I said it. Yes. Thank you so Nadi, much. Thank you. So you say this or Tina Wadi, you move to gloss, not to talk talk. I did not do that before and again the right thing to see. We hope say that Tina they will go down and let people not go free for kind of politics. God bless you now. Thank you so much, Kadija. Yes. Uh, you you yes sir, yeah. you you your favorite fan look like you want just say one thing, it just call. Kindly introduce yourself please before honorable. <laughs> <we're going. laughs> Janice Matalusa here, and I just want to say, Kana Yonkela, we want to say to you, thank you very much for opening the political space for us in the diaspora. Some of us are getting older now, we want to come home. I just want to say thank you for everything, and for you being, for being out there and, and, and paving the way for us. That's all I want to say to you, thank you very much. Hey, thanks, sis. thanks for being there, my dear sister. I know you're one of those. If I'm not moving fast to stop, you say, What the heck are you doing? Where are you at? Where are you at? I am not to the and the weights come to air, the matter will just fire and say, Hmm, why do you run away? Where do you go? Where do you go? First of all, a good leader means good followership. And it does not necessarily mean you're in the same party, but just to say, Hey, we believe in the same cause, please keep fighting. So. I assure you, we'll keep, we'll keep fighting. Thank you very much. That's take we to the end of today's interview with Honorable Alhaji Kande Kole Yonkela. We want to take this opportunity for tell you plenty, plenty thank you. We always they make take time out of your busy schedule for honor invitation. Go ahead and say your last word, and then we'll call it quits. Thank you, everybody. Have a good weekend. And salute for Remember your country. Let's forgive. Let's come together. We need to build a better nation. Oh, wonderful. We will be right back. Welcome back once again. We want to take this opportunity for say plenty, plenty, thank you. So Honorable Alhaji Kande Kole Yonkela will take time out of your busy schedule for honor invitation. Until next time, it's now SVTV1, Khadija Hassan Tijan Nabi. God bless each of we. God bless the Republic of Sierra Leone. God bless the Republic of Sierra Leone. God bless the Republic of Sierra Leone. God bless the United States of America, United Kingdom, and everywhere Sierra Leone finance. Until next time, bye.